Hello Scorpio, this is your reading for May 2020. I'm looking for new energies and hopefully positive energies for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies and hopefully positive energies. As you know, this will not resonate with all Scorpios, but I, you know, I try to reach as many as you as I can. And um, I'm hoping you have a better month. But we'll see what's going on. I do meditate on these cards before I even start on the video. Because I want to put as much energy as I can out there for you. Let's see what's going on. I'm trying to be a little bit more quiet, but at the same time being loud. Because it's late here when I'm, when I'm recording. And there's people sleeping. Coming in energy. The energy you're feeling right now coming in. Is that you're feeling like you're having a lot of bad luck. Okay? You're feeling like... Um, or you're trying to change your luck. You're trying to turn it around. Okay? This is you. Prince of Cups. Subject to hand. Is a... Uh, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um... A lot of energetic, youthful type energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be a youth, but they could be feeling like they want to be young again. They want to take on, um, they want to start um, sending messages, getting messages of the like. And what's crossing it? It's adjustment. You know, trying to know what to do next. It's trying to work on something. Work hard. Maybe for some of you, you lack work. Maybe um, you're having trouble with work. Okay? And you're trying to adjust to your situation. What crowns you or the goal is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is someone trying to find a new beginning and finding a new truth. Or um, having the energy to move forward. And maybe you're trying to get motivated again for a lot of you. Foundation, the Ace of Cups in Reverse. Yeah, you, it's, it's like you, you lack motivation for some of you. It felt like maybe every time you start something, life just kind of screws you over. That's what you're feeling. Past position, you did have enjoyment in the past. You had celebrations. You went and had fun. Um, maybe broke bread. You know, broke bread with your friends. You know, just really enjoyed yourself. But it's like the luck changed and you feel like you're you're now being hindered and you feel like you lost motivation and you feel like you got to work hard towards everything your future knight of swords you may be dealing with a uh, air sign um it could be aquarius gemini or libra but it doesn't have to be someone with no filter someone that maybe you feel like is rude okay now i'm going to clarify these you know once i clarify i can change the story up but um and I'm also going to give you a mini love reading at the, at the same time or at the end of this. And so stick with me. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe, the chariot. Things will move forward again quickly. Okay? Things will move forward again. Outside influences. Maybe you felt like uh, maybe someone walked away from you. Maybe something left you. Maybe um, you're dealing with... Um, People that weren't there for you with the Eight of Cups. Okay? As the outside, you're feeling this because it's emotional type energy. Your hopes and fears, you're afraid you won't get your happily ever after. You're afraid of this. In the end, you do come out of a failed situation. You start working on something, you start moving forward again. It's just that you lack motivation for some reason. I'm going to find out why. Okay? We're going to find out what's going on. And what you can do to possibly change it. Remember, Tarot is here to help, not to hinder. You have the ability to change your situation. You have free will. A lot of people don't know that. That's the truth. Let's go back to the beginning. It's you. Prince of Cups, you're in the upright. But it's an adjustment. Trying to adjust to your situation right now. Trying to make do. So I need um, two cards. For the Prince of Cups and the adjustment card. Two cups, please. I mean, two cards, please. <laughs> the world card, karmic situations, and trying to avoid a tower. 
You're trying to avoid um, from everything crumbling down around you. What crowns you? The goal is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is in reverse. I need two cards for Scorpio, please, for the Ace of Swords. Two cards, please. Knight of Swords again. You're definitely dealing with an air-type energy that's... Um, yeah, you're definitely dealing with an air-type energy that has no filter. And you're probably debating what you should do with them and their, of how they're reacting towards you. And it could be that they may offer you an Ace of Pentacles energy or you may offer it to them. Or you're just wanting to start this in your world altogether on your own. And you may say, I don't know if I could deal with people that don't have a filter. I don't know what I can do. I don't know if I should stay, you know, start this with this person, uh, a, a new beginning, a new stable beginning, you know, or should I go on with something else? I'm feeling that. You're deciding what to do. And you're like, your, your energy is kind of zapped a little bit. Like I said, you lost motivation. Because right here you got the Ace of Cups. It's like you may be holding back or somebody else is, or you may be holding back because you don't like the way someone has... You know how they had, you know how they talk to you. Okay, you don't like how they talk to you. So Ace of Cups in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Scorpio. Two cards. King of Swords. You're definitely dealing with an air energy or someone that has a lot of air in their astrology chart. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. And you're wanting something more stable and secure. You're wanting what you're wanting with them to be right. You don't want the um. Knight of Swords in reverse, you're wanting a more stable person, someone who can take on their crown, someone that knows how to rule well in their lives. So you're thinking, should I offer, should I go along with this new um, beginning with this person, or should I just go elsewhere? And you're, you know, like I said, your, motivation's, your motivation is down. I'm trying to talk here. My, I'm still having a little bit of breathing issues, but I'm also trying not to wake everybody. The Tower is in reverse so you're trying to avoid from like I said the situation from going just crazy and so you're coming you're kind of like um, trying to decide whether you should work on something or not you know whether you stay where you're at or go where you need to go in the past we have the three of cups you, you enjoyed yourself in the past maybe with this person you enjoyed yourself at one time and maybe that's why you're a little torn you know so I need two cards for the Three of Cups, please, in a past position for Scorpio. Not holding back in the past. Maybe you spend a lot of money and you thought you had wish fulfillment. Maybe you did a little bit, you know? We'll find out what's going on. In the very near future, you're going to deal with the Knight of Swords, like I said. Uh, Air-type energy. I need two cards, please, for the Knight of Swords. Page of Swords, oh yeah, Messages, Ace of Cups. So I'm thinking, okay, this person is going to want to start something with you. Or maybe you want to start something with them, but I'm thinking it's them wanting to start something with you because the Page of Swords is there. And they're straight to the point. Like I said, they have no filter. They may, like I say this all the time, come across wrong. They want a new emotional beginning, but you are unsure because you want them to be a certain way. Okay? You want this person to be a certain way. Now, this could be a lover. It could be um, a work person, but I don't think so. But it could be because I see some pentacles energy. But it also could be a family member, okay? So maybe, you know, you're thinking for some of you, now I've given you chances before. I, I tried to trust before. And, you know, and, and I almost had tower situations. I'm tired of things that don't work out. And history repeating itself. You know, so you're really, you know, thinking about whether you should do this with this person, even though I do think they do want to start something with you again, or this person, maybe, you know, they're just now starting out saying this, and like I said, they, they, they have no filter, they really don't, so we're going to go over here, possible future outcome and advice from the universe, things are going to move forward quickly again, okay? So this is just, you know, like I said, lack of motivation, feeling a little down and out, feeling like, um, is, is this ever going to move on, you know? But let's go find out what the chariot's about for Scorpio. I need two cards, please. 
Then we'll do the love reading in a little bit, but I gotta get these four finished. Two cards, please. You have past memories, you're moving on from past memories that were kind of hurtful. Page of Cups, again, this is like your energy. Moving on from past memories, moving forward, even though you feel hurt, even though um, maybe it haunts you a little, you're going to move forward from it. I promise you're going to move forward for it, from it. And the universe is telling you to move forward from it. Okay? Outside environment, maybe someone walked away at one time. Maybe they just weren't reliable. Maybe uh, life, the way you wanted it, walked away, you know? So the Eight of Cups in the upright. I need two cards for Scorpio as the outside environment. Someone has hope in that someone had walked away or something that went away. Someone still has hope on a situation. They're still waiting for their overall stability. They're, they're willing, someone is willing to wait in a way that somebody had walked away or they're pondering whether they should wait. But there is hope there in this situation, whether you're going for something else or whether you're staying with where, whatever you're at, you know? And this is the outside environment coming in, so there is hope in a situation where someone possibly walked away or where something went away that had to do with your overall stability, you know? Hopes and fears, you're afraid you're not going to... This is hopes and fears, and not reality. It doesn't have to be reality. Ten of Cups in reverse. You're afraid you won't get your happily ever after. Okay? You're afraid of this. So I need two cards for the Ten of Cups, please. Two cards. You know, you're afraid you won't have your happy home. And you're worried maybe about having to take a break. Um, some of you may be worried about illness. That's that too. Having to uh, recuperate from whatever situation is going on around you. These are all just fears, you know. You don't have to give in to those fears. In the end, the Seven of Pentacles. You're trying to overturn failure. You're, you're going to put it off. You're going to reevaluate your situation. And, and attempt now to turn the situation around in the very end. So the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I need two cards, please. Scorpio. Two cards. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely dealing with a lot of air energy here. You're going to find happiness again. Could be with the Queen of Swords or just how you feel about the Queen of Swords overall. Oh boy, you get wish fulfillment too. So what I'm seeing here is that the person you're dealing with or the situation you were dealing with, whether work or a person, um, kind of, it disappointed you more than, than, than you were willing to, you weren't willing to take on this disappointment. You weren't, you weren't wanting this, okay? And you're trying to avoid everything from crumbling down, like I said, around you. And you don't know if you like what is going to be offered to you because someone is going to offer you something. But like I said, they've come across kind of gruff. And you don't know if you like that. You don't know if this is what you're wanting. You're wanting someone who's more stable and more forthright, okay? And um, um, more honorable in some ways towards you. And maybe whatever happened in the outside environment, maybe someone walked away or maybe you told them to walk away or whatever. Um, there's still hope in the situation of something that walked away. Or something that made you lose some stability or whoever you were with lose stability. The universe says things are going to move forward again, so put away the negative memories. You know, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Don't worry about whether you're going to get your Ten of Cups and your happy home. And don't worry about sickness so much that it disrupts your life. Okay? You are going to come out of a failed situation. You're going to reevaluate what's going on, especially with the, with the Queen of Swords, which can be male or female. And you will have happiness again. Okay? Now I'm going to give you a mini love reading. I'm trying not to be so loud. I know I'm getting that way. But I need three cards. For love for Scorpio for May 2020 for Scorpio, Sun and Rising, where they have Scorpio in their chart for May 2020. Three cards, please, for Scorpio about love. We need to know about love for Scorpio. Because this, in this reading, this could be love, it could be all kind of things. 
And say stay optimistic. I do see you kind of feeling down and out, whether you should even take on other people in your life, bring them into your life, or whether to move on with something else. You know, you're debating on it in some way. Religious factors in your belief systems, maybe that has a lot to do with it. Maybe you're wanting someone to, um, that agrees with you, that feels that you feel that you can get along with. It's just not just, it says religious factors, but um, society in itself, whether you can actually um, have something in common with this person, whether it'll work, okay? And so it also could be for some of you that maybe you should look at for somebody or look for a situation um, where someone is in agreement with you. It also could be that you should look towards spirituality and stay optimistic and realize that you have faith and you can change the situation also. And this is to love yourself first. I do feel like a lot of Scorpios are kind of down. They feel like, so some of you may feel like, is this person for me right? Are they... Should I should I have him in my life or should I let it go? Because I saw that Eight of Cups on the, as the outside environment. Should I tell them to walk away? Should I let them walk away if they wanted to? So you're feeling just a little bit down and out. But the universe saying whatever this is, you're, you're going to move forward from this and to put away the negative memories because it's it's too much right now. You can't bring it in your life and move forward. But it's telling you to do so. Because if you do, you will come out of failure and you'll get happiness again. And you even come into an agreement with the Queen of Swords, whether to, to um, have them in your life or just to get along with them. It could be anything. But you got to stay optimistic. You're really down, okay? you got to bring yourself back up. Go to spirituality or go and, and really study whether you want what you want in your life when it comes to um, your belief system, whether you want this for the long haul. And most of all, love yourself first. Because if you don't love yourself first, love cannot come in. Other people will not love you the way um, you should be loved. And I want to clarify these three. And I want to find out why it's saying this. Okay, it's going to tell us more. I need uh, a card for the Stay Optimistic. Okay, for Scorpio. I need a card, please. Stay Optimistic for Scorpio. One card, please. The fool. You know, stay optimistic cause, and take a leap of faith. Okay? Don't give up your faith. And that has a lot to do with religious factors too. It's taking a leap of faith when it comes to love. Okay? Stay optimistic. Don't think it's never going to happen. I've had Scorpios mention to me it's never happening in my comments. I'm saying, yeah, it is. It just feels that way. Now, I need another card for the religious factors. What, that's, what is that about? For Scorpio. Is it about a person or is it about themselves? Yeah, it's 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 five of earth. You're feeling really left out and like you don't have enough. You feel like maybe for some of you, you feel like you have nothing in common with somebody or you feel like you can't get out of something. And for some of you, and this is for some of you, if you don't have enough, you go to somebody who's religious, someone who is spiritual, and they can help you out of this situation where you're feeling left out and not having enough. I feel that intensely as someone needs to know this. You don't have enough to get by. And you're feeling down and out, like I said. You're wondering if you should give other people a chance, if you should let them back in your life. But right now, instead of worrying about them, if you're worried about, um, if you're just really, really down, go to this person. Go to a spiritual person. They will, re they will reveal themselves to you. If you go searching for them also, you will find them to help you out of whatever situation you are going through because somebody is out there few of you are, are going through this but also a lot of you are feeling like I said down and out and maybe you need to grab a hold of spirituality so you can love again yourself first so you can find find somebody else and let somebody else in you know by the bear mm -hmm. yeah love yourself first like a fire you may actually meet up with a uh 
fire sign of fire air. Okay, in the end, you're dealing with them. But it's saying here, love yourself first and stop fighting within and fighting with other people. It's all about a big defeat and, and struggle. You're feeling defeated, Scorpio. The Scorpios I'm talking to are feeling defeated. And they must love themselves first. And you should love yourself first. And you need to go to someone that can help you with this. Because it's saying here, this is what you do. This is what the um, Five of Earth is all about. This person, you know, it doesn't show in this card, but in other decks it does. Is somebody that is feeling really like they don't have enough money. How am I going to pay my rent? Nobody loves me. All these type of things. This energy. And when they're feeling this way, the key to this card is to go to the church or to a spiritual leader and they can help you. And there it is. Religious factors. So stay optimistic about your love life. Still have faith. Okay? Take that leap of faith. Love yourself because you are worth loving. Okay? Love yourself. You are worth loving. You are worth, you are worth future love. But you must love yourself first so other people can love you also. Okay? And stop fighting within. Stop feeling defeated. Okay? Because you can get out of this. This person you're dealing with or this future person you're going to be dealing with. This could be a future person. Because I'm reading for May. You will be still dealing with them. With the night of fire. This is um, fire and air. Okay? They have fire and air in their chart. Very passionate people. And I do see you um, coming out of failure with the Queen of Cups energy. Which can be male or female, by the way. And happiness again. But you got to believe in it. Don't let this make you think it'll never get better. Okay? And I'll probably give you a bonus reading. I'll probably give a lot of them bonus readings. Because it's, it's, it's the leftover energy that everybody's been going through. You do get also, remember, a wish fulfillment in that other situation. So this is telling you don't give up hope. And realize that this will not be forever what you're feeling. Okay? Some of you, the not Scorpios I'm out, that are out there, are feeling really bad. Now, I'm speaking real loud again. I, I have a feeling I woke up somebody. Um, I'm going to let this go. and I'll probably upload it in the morning. And I will talk to you later, okay? Don't give up. Bye.